What's up, MTV? Welcome to my crib. Okay, just kidding, but hey, that's never stopped me before. What is up, beautiful angels? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I am actually going to do a video that I wasn't originally planning on doing, but I got so into antique books the other day that I figured I would make a video on it because now it's something that I'm like legitimately obsessed with. <laughs> so here we go. My fairy tale themed library decorating video. <laughs> La la la, la la la, tell us all this time. Okay, so I figured we'd start with a little tour of the empty room. As you can see, this is what I'm referring to as the ballroom of my house. I have insanely grandiose visions for this. I'm quite literally going to turn it into the Beauty and the Beast like ballroom library. So obviously that means I have to decorate all these empty shelves. <laughs> I have so, so, so many shelves in here, you can see. I have a couple of old books there already, but I am going to make it a full library. So, um, to fill all these shelves, I need roughly a bajillion. <laughs> you know, so I quite literally can spin around and pretend I'm a princess in here. Which explains my outfit of the day, by the way. Isn't this just kind of fun? I thought this would be cute to bust out my like Disney princess DIY dresses again. So we got this little blue dress here. I actually got this on Amazon and then it has like a petticoat underneath, you know, to give it that floof floof. Cute little blue bow to tie it together. And FYI, since you guys keep asking, that um, red body bag looking thing is actually just my Christmas tree that I have yet to put somewhere. So what are you gonna do? I know, I know, my priorities are really out of whack, but instead of putting my Christmas tree away today, we are going to um, go on a little book hunting adventure. I grabbed my camera and took you guys with me yesterday to some of the best bookstores in LA, so here's that little adventure. All right, so since we're down, ooh, it's so sunny, but um, since we're down here, I thought we'd check out the public library. I know you're not supposed to go shopping at the public library, but maybe they have some books for sale anyway, who knows? Not being supposed to shop somewhere has never stopped me before. Woohoohoo, look how fun. This makes me feel so academic. Whoa, you guys, look at this. This is beautiful. Okay, so this is the library. Let's see what they got. Oh my gosh, they have so much stuff. Oh, beautiful. I forgot you're supposed to be quiet in libraries and also I'm not allowed to buy these, they said, so. Maybe we'll see if they have a, like, gift shop or something. Aha, okay, let's see. Oh my God, look you guys, they have a whole section of a dollar only books? Bruh, so you can shop in the library. <laughs> Sex and shopping, you guys, I'm gonna literally scream and lose my mind. Look at this, <gasps> this was made for me. <laughs> I can't believe this is the best thing I've ever seen. Okay, what else they got in here? Women in love. This one's pretty, let's get this one just for fun. All right, let's see what else we can find. Look, hi! Anything you wanna to say to you too? Uh, I'm a big fan of yours, <gasps> I love you. Stop, I love you <laughs> Dun, da, da. Dun, dun, da, dun, 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 dun. Oh, and the architecture, yay. Look at this place, you guys. Isn't this just the coolest thing you've ever seen? Oh my God, it's unbelievable. Oh, like look at how cool this is. Oh my God, they have so, so many beautiful things. Oh. Alrighty, let's see what we can get. Like I said, this is legitimately like one of the coolest stores in all of Los Angeles. I just, it's amazing. It really is one of the last ones, so sad. Don't worry guys, I'll single-handedly economically support it. Oh, this one's great because it's humongous. Look at how beautiful. I'm gonna get rid of all the covers. Oh, see, this is gorgeous. Love it, yes. Look at that, only 20 bucks. Oh, this is beautiful, wow. Oh, I wish that was me. This is just the coolest, there are so many books here. Oh my God, and look, ooh, iconic. By the way, when I'm looking for books, I'm looking for three things. Either a title that I think is really cool, a book that I just think is beautiful, or a subject I'm super interested in, like this. Like, I love art anyway, so this is perfect, but look at how gorgeous. <gasps> Unbelievable. And it's only $8. Yay. Pia, 
guys, quick interruption disclaimer. I know I'm gonna catch heat for literally judging books by their cover. Like I said, the books I'm shopping for at the store are definitely more of decor. I handpicked all of my favorite books and ordered special classic, you know, signed, limited edition, rare first editions on the internet in the way that I do. So if you check the video description, there's a link of all of my favorite books if you wanna check out my literary side. But you know, you'll see more in the haul. Oh God, I've only been here for 30 seconds and I'm already gonna have this filled up. Do they have a bigger shopping cart? Please help the professional shopper. <laughs> <laughs> what else can we find? Oh my gosh, like look at this dream diary. That's beautiful. Oh God, that's not though. Hmm. You know what? This is actually really freaking me out and has really bad energy. So we're not gonna buy this one actually. Ooh, like this is a cool one. Look, this is an auction house I actually really like to shop on. So cool. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Why does this kind of look like Charlie Puth? <laughs> like this store is just so cool. Oh. Here's where they keep all the fancy books. Like look at that, this book is $2,100. It's beautiful though. Man, I gotta get a bigger budget for this. It's just so cool, there's books everywhere. And they're all so beautiful, oh my god. I know I'm really out here judging books literally by their cover and that's like not what you're supposed to do, but if you're decorating, it's okay. <laughs> oh dear, I need to get a cart. Oh my gosh, like look at how crazy this is. Look at this, they just keep going and going and going and going. <gasps> Oh, like you look at this, the beautiful villages of California. <gasps> yeah. This is a famous book I've never read. What? Oh, beautiful. Antique books. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God. Like, look at how cool this is. It's like a vault. <gasps> oh. oh, this is literally like my dream. <gasps> wow. Oh, there's so many. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Tax cases. Ugh, how boring. Give me something spicy. Is there anything interesting in here? Eh? Yeah. I mean, not particularly interesting, but kinda. The kids section actually has some of the best books. Oh my gosh, like look. Oh, I should get this. I love this book. Oh my God, I loved this book as a kid. And this one? <gasps> oh, beautiful. Like that's just sexy. Love it. Okay, I need another cart. <laughs> This is literally like my fourth cart. Okay, we'll run this one over here too. Bogue's Book of Etiquette. This is so cool. <laughs> Everyone in here thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> Stairs this way. All right, let's go. This is, oh my gosh. And look at how cool these stairs are. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Oh, <gasps> fantasy. What a beautiful stair. Like, look at this place. This is so cool. <gasps> oh. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. I think I could legitimately spend 500 million hours in here, but look at this. Look how cool. Ooh, we got this whole scary room. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay, this is not quite what I want to decorate the library with. Yep, nope, not this. <laughs> this is just all made of books. How cool is this? So cool! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is just so neat. There is so many. Oh no, there's too many. Oh dear. Peek a boo. <laughs> <laughs> These are literally all mine. I'm dying. <laughs> oh dear. <gasps> oh my god, I got literally so many. This is so funny. <laughs> By the way, you guys, it is literally pitch black. That's how long I've been in here. <gasps> Yay! Thank you! Woo! Okay, I think it's time to go home now. Mostly because I'm standing in the middle of the street. Okay. All right, so this is all the books that I got. <laughs> I got literally 700 bajillion. You probably saw me playing around with them on Instagram last night, but yeah, uh, I got a lot of books. So here is my ridiculously extra book haul. So I'm taking off my shoes for this. These are not comfortable. So first I'm gonna open the books that I got online because it actually took literally all of the willpower in me not to open them last night. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this one's gorgeous. Look at that Romeo and Juliet. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, wow, this is like the most beautiful book I've ever seen. Gorgeous. Oh, this is like Christmas. 
Shop online, it's Christmas, your birthday, every single day. Ah. Oh, this one is gorgeous, the art of love. <gasps> and look at that with like gold pages. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Brum, 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 brum. <gasps> Beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this one. This is one of my favorite artists ever. Like, oh my gosh, his art is unbelievable. <gasps> I need to do a video recreating some of these because this is just the best art ever. So like I said, when I was picking out books, obviously I got a bunch of them in the store for purely decorative reasons, but I got a bunch of these based on things that I really like. You know, decorating is one thing, but it's your home, you know? You wanna smile when you look at everything in it. By the way, I know I said I'd show you guys the ballroom um, design ideas. You might have even noticed. See this? This is actually just like a 3D looking molding piece that perfectly matches. <gasps> Look at that, the wood on my walls. Like you can see, obviously this is, oh no. <laughs> okay, so like obviously you can see this is lopsided and not actually put on right, but this is what I'm going to put all over the walls as decor so it looks like it's French paneled and fabulous. You can see some of the renderings, but basically it's going to look like this. So all over the walls, we got some fancy moldings that I'm gonna put up there. You might remember this picture I shared on Instagram the other day. This is going to look somewhat like this. This is gonna have two giant columns put on it. So that's just gonna be unbelievable. I am so excited for that. So anyways. Damn, this one's awfully sealed up. What the heck? Packed with book pages, that's cool. Ugh. This is one of my favorite poets. I love poetry, so. Nothing gold can stay, the road less traveled. Talented dude. It's like one of my favorite books ever as a child. Oh, I love this book. I actually got a bunch of children's books. I got Goodnight Moon. This was like literally one of my other childhood favorites. Where the wild things are. Ah, I love this book. This is like a replica of the first edition. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This is a, su a super, super famous illustrator, by the way. This is gonna be so cool to like read my kids someday. You know, in like 50 years. <laughs> Okay, so those are the ones that I got online. And how about the ones that I bought at the store? Am I gonna go through every single one? Oh my God, look at this one. This one is gorgeous. This is the Great Gatsby. I actually dropped a decent coin on this one, but this one is unbelievable. Wow, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous one. I also thought it'd be funny to have a bunch of books that were once banned for like obscenity. So we got Lady Chatterley's Lover. You know, keep the library spicy. From the library store, we got this one. This was only a dollar. <laughs> Obviously, I got this one too. It doesn't quite go with the aesthetic, but it was too funny to pass up. <laughs> like this one, Nine Princes in Amber. This is the funniest book title in the world. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny sometimes. Grimm's Fairy Tales, The Scarlet Letter, Alice in Wonderland. Makers of history, hell yeah. Because I'm crazy. Oh, I actually got this on Amazon too. Winnie the Pooh is like my favorite ever. So great. You know, my fantasy of marrying a musician. This to me says daddies of pop music. Once upon a time. Mood. In case I feel like practicing some spells. Oh, this was another band book. Gorgeous. I think I'm gonna put the book of virtue next to the tempest. <laughs> I wish this said temptress, but that's close enough. Oh God, I haven't even made a dent. This is one of my favorite artists ever, Maxfield Parrish. Oh my gosh, beautiful. I also got this one, not because it really goes with the aesthetic, but because for some reason, this makes me just like wanna start crying. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This is my new favorite book. Wow. Like I said, you know, things I'm interested in, Marie Antoinette, the Renaissance. I got this one for George. You know, I love the number three. Like how funny is this since I'm a craft person? So great golden treasury like that's just such a good book name you know i love manifesting oh my gosh this one is beautiful like i said i love poetry these are again some of my favorite poets i mean this book was made for me Vogue's book of etiquette like this is gorgeous i love books with cursive on the side that's just beautiful oh such a sexy title the anatomy of antiques me like this is literally a book about jewelry Oh, ah, I love this book. Wow, like, oh my gosh, this is such a cool book. This is another one of my favorite illustrators ever. I've posted her stuff on Instagram and everywhere, but I bought this book literally for the photos. Oh my gosh, these are just the most fantastical images in the world. I love this book, gorgeous, unbelievable. 
know the classics. I love this one too. Wow. Like, you know, we got the famous authors, Mark Twain, Charles Dickens, Leo Tolstoy, you know, real literature. Love Frank Sinatra and Bing Crosby. So I thought these were super fun. Like this is literally a book about gold boxes. An entire ginormous book about those boxes I love to collect. Unbelievable. <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh, what a vibe. By the way, something else super cool that I got the other day, I actually found this in an antique store when I was just wandering randomly as I do, but check this out. This is actually a super rare little French crystal thing commemorating the 150th anniversary of Hans Christian Andersen's first published fairy tales. So I'll frame this and make this look really fancy. I'm also gonna get a bunch of other fairy tale themed trinkets. You guys already know I collect the Swarovski figurines, but I'm gonna get some Disney themed ones. I'm thinking Tinkerbell, the Beauty and the Beast Rose, the Cinderella shoe, and I'll like frame those up in here real nice. So, so excited for that. Yay, more shopping. <laughs> oh, a collector's work is never done. Okay, so how am I actually gonna decorate all these shelves? I don't think I have enough books, <laughs> but I think I have enough to do those two shelves in the front, so we'll start with that. I actually kind of think that it would look best if I just kind of did it randomly. Let's just try. So I turned on my favorite music, um, you know, to dance around the house in, la la la. And of course some actual bops, <laughs> you know, thematic. So then I just got to decorating. I literally just put them everywhere. Um, there was no rhyme or reason really to what I was doing. I just kind of put them all over the place, wherever they fit, and eventually. <laughs> okay, so in what I think might be the most funny news of all time, my shelves are still not filled. This one is mostly filled. Um, that one's not, and these are completely empty. So. Damn, okay. I need even more books than I thought, but oh my gosh, look how gorgeous it looks. Ah, oh, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so here's a quick little tour. Look at how beautiful all of them are. Oh my gosh, they look unbelievable. And it makes it even cooler that I picked out every single one based on things that I'm interested in or love. Oh my gosh, they are just stinking gorgeous. I even came back at night and rearranged them like 500 million times, as I probably will, until I get them exactly how I kind of want them to look. But this is just going to be so gorgeous. You know what, the really big ones, I might even put them in like this. Oh, that could be cool. And would save me having to buy a couple hundred bajillion more books. In the meantime of not having enough books, this is actually the best present anyone's ever given me. This was my dad gave this to me. It was a book that um, he used to read to me when I was a kid and he gave this to me on my high school graduation. So um, I just thought that was cute. So I'm gonna probably keep that open down there just so I always look at it. These are just unbelievable. <laughs> Does anyone wanna send me some books for this? <laughs> Oh, nuts. Okay, so obviously lots more work to do in here, but that was like a good start. So I, I hope you enjoyed the little life vlog decorating with me. Um, this was literally just what I was doing this week. So I thought it'd be fun to film it, but uh, hope you enjoyed the little journey. And since I always like to tie these into some sort of a lesson, don't forget, honestly, whoever said you can't grow up to be a princess was lying. You can do anything and be anything you want. I love you so, so, so very much. Kisses till next time. XL.